Madam C.J. Walker was born Sarah Breedlove in 1867 on a plantation in Delta, Louisiana, where her parents had been slaves before the Civil War. And her early life was really bleak. Uh, by the time she was seven years old, both parents had died. She got married at 14, she said, to get a home of her own because she was being abused by a cruel brother-in-law, as she described him. She became a mother at 17 and a widow at 20. Sarah Breedlove, a washerwoman by trade. At the age of 33 in 1900, Sarah began selling a product door to door which she had formulated to remedy her own hair loss. She pinpointed the root of her hair problems, which was the scalp, and created hair care products and a beauty regimen for hair growth and maintenance that focused on the need for a clean and healthy scalp, scalp protection, and scalp stimulation for maximum hair growth. Her first product would eventually be called Madam C.J. Walker's Wonderful Hair Grower, and she boldly and proudly used her own likeness on her jars and her own before and after pictures to demonstrate her product's effectiveness. Per Madam's own words, she abhorred the impression held by some that she claimed to straighten hair. She emphatically stated, I grow hair, and that there would be no hair growing business today had I not started it. She described her concept and method of hair growth as beauty culture because she compared growing hair to growing and cultivating garden plants. She then broadened this concept of beauty culture by incorporating the value of cleanliness and professionalism which emphasized the overall appearance, moral conduct, and character of the black woman. These are your Fifth Street announcements for the month of March. In behalf of all brothers, let me start off by saying, we repent, ladies. No wonder it turns into World War III when you dare to touch a black woman's hair. I had no idea that you ladies have been working on this healthy hair concept for 119 years. I would not allow anyone to touch my hair either if I had some, but I do not. On that note, now here are your Fifth Street announcements. For Fifth Street, March is still Nutrition Awareness Month. Beginning Monday, March 4, 6.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m., there will be a first aid class with firefighter Mike Rawls. Advanced sign-up is requested. This just in, the healthy cooking demo with Chef Curry to Go has been rescheduled for Wednesday, March 27th. It is free to attend. However, advanced sign-up is required for accurate food preparation. There will be drawings and prizes. Saturday, March 9, 2019, join the Outreach Ministry at 10.30 a.m. and help us minister as we feed those in need. Last but not least, the Health and Wellness Ministry is at it again. Sunday, March 10, 2019, at 10 a.m. from 10.30 a.m., Help us welcome the only African-American female cardiologist in the state of Oklahoma as she shares matters of the heart. Your heart matters. Please invite a friend and stay for the 1030 a.m. service. For more details on events and information that you have heard or did not hear, please refer to your church bulletin or check us out on our Fifth Street social media platforms. See you this Wednesday for worship and word. Take care. God bless and have a great week. Believe, belong, and become. This has been your Fifth Street Announcements.